Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are having a great day today. So today's video is going to be my empties video. I have a few product empties to share with you. So without wasting any time, let's quickly get started with today's video. Okay guys, so these are the empties which I have since the past couple of months I would say. I have a few skincare, I have a few makeup items. So let's quickly begin. I'll let you guys know what are my thoughts on this empties and if I will be repurchasing this product or not. Let's start off with some body care items. I have two products to share with you from the brand called Natural, which is by Watson's, which is a local drugstore here. First one is this one from Na uh, Watson's, Naturals by Watson's. It's the Macadamia uh, Certified Organic Macadamia Oil Cream Bath. So this is how the product looks like. It's basically a char gel and it's, uh, it has macadamia oil and other ingredients in it. It's supposed to be very good for uh, protecting and smoothing the skin and wrinkles. Uh, restores hydration, repairs dry and damaged skin and it has vitamin B3. It is a 490 ml of product and it's a drugstore brand. I guess it was for around seven eight dollars So I think I quite like this uh, body wash. I wouldn't mind repurchasing this yeah, and it uh, I remember that it was not really drying on the uh, body. I think it does what it says. It's supposed to be good for hydration and extra rejuvenation So I think it's pretty good. I think for the price it was pretty good. I wouldn't mind repurchasing another uh, product which i quite liked is this one uh, from the same brand naturals by watson's it's their argan oil hand cream and it's a big big tube it's a 60 ml product and it has uh and i can tell you if the product stays in my hand it has uh, it it will give you intensive nourishing hand treatment to protect from dryness it has certified organic avocado oil and vijum oil along with the argan oil so i think this also was a pretty good hand cream it is not the fastest if you consider uh, i have tried some other hand cream like the soap and lori one which absorbs really really fast this doesn't absorb very very fast but it does get absorbed in the skin and the hand feels very very hydrated and it doesn't give a uh, leaf a sticky greasy feeling so i quite liked it it's a drugstore product as well it was not very expensive and you get a lot of product for a little amount so i think if i run out of my hand cream i did purchase a big soap and glory hand cream so if i ever run out of that then i will probably repurchase i don't think i will need to repurchase another one really soon next i have a body wash or a shower gel from bath and body Works. Uh, it's a smaller bottle i uh, got it to try it out it was a 10 dollar bottle you have this small sample like smaller bottles uh, which you can uh, try out first so this one is the warm vanilla sugar with shea and vitamin e shower gel and i really really loved it i will definitely repurchase a full size of this this one is a 88 ml uh, bottle so it did not last me a very long time i think it hardly lasted me for two three weeks but i think i got a good feel of the product by using this and i think i love the uh, shower gel it has an amazing fragrance really really beautiful vanilla uh, scent which i absolutely love you guys know and this one has shea butter and vitamin e so it was really nourishing on the skin and my skin felt very soft and hydrated after I used this, did not it did not dry out my skin. Okay, next we have some makeup removing and cleansing kind of stuff. So this is a product which I tried pretty decently. This is a Biore uh, foaming wash and it's for all skin types. It says it's cut down the double cleansing step with just one wash. It removes um, makeup and it uh, cleanses your face also in just one step. And I will totally agree, it removes a lot of makeup. If you are if you have full face of makeup and you uh, wash your face with this, it will take off a lot of makeup. You might have to like uh, go in one more time for the mascara, waterproof mascara and all. But I think for the most part, it does uh, do a pretty good job. I usually double cleanse, so for me, it worked pretty well. But I will say that this one does leave my skin feeling a little bit dry. I have normal to dry skin and my skin feels a little bit dry. But I follow it up with uh, like skincare, so it doesn't really bother me that much. But it is a foaming face wash, so it does strip your skin of a lot of oils, I feel. So I think this will be good for mostly oily skin type. If you have extremely dry skin, I wouldn't really recommend this one. And nowadays, I'm also like staying away from very foaming products. So this is a foaming face wash. So I don't know if I'll uh, purchase this again. I think the product itself is good. It depends on what your preference is. Currently, I'm not looking into foaming face washes. So I'll not purchase this one. But I love a lot of Biore products, you know. Two micellar waters which I finished recently is this one from Sephora. This is the waterproof 
Triple Action Cleansing Water Plus Oil. This is one of my favorite micellar waters from Sephora. This is how this one looks. So it basically is the uh, micellar water which also has oil. It's sort of you have to emulsify and then use it. This takes off everything. It's really really good. I love this uh, product and I, I think I have purchased a lot of them. This is I don't know what number of purchase this is but I totally love it. I will totally recommend it. And I've also finished up this one Bioderma travel pack. This is the Hydrobio H2O Solution Micellar Water. This is also one of my favorite micellar waters. This also takes off everything very, very easy to use. You don't have to go in once or twice and thrice. It just takes away in one go. So I love it. It's very, very gentle on the skin as well. So Bioderma, one travel pack. I have three more travel packs to go through. Then I have used up, uh, these are my favorite micellar cleansing water, uh, cleansing wipes. They are from Bifesta. Uh, I don't know how many times I have already shown this on my channel. This is how this looks. This is one of my favorite drugstore ones. Uh, Bifesta ones and the Biore. Uh, the Biore brand also has really, really good wipes. So I usually uh, go between these two, Bifesta or Biore. So currently I am using the Bifesta ones. I have finished up two and I am already have... Two more i think so this is like a really really good these are very saturated they just take off everything so i love these i totally highly highly recommend next let's move on to some skincare items i uh, used up uh, two creams so first of all i have used up this little clinic moisture surge 72 hour cream so i did speak about this in some video where i was talking about sample sizes i have tried recently and will i buy a full size so but th then i mentioned that uh, i wouldn't be pursuing a full size because i think this one doesn't provide that much of hydration and i think i still stick to my uh stick to my decision because this one it is a good cream it is a good lotion i have used up everything but i think this one you have to go in after a while again especially if you have dry skin i think it may work a little bit better for oily skin i'm not really sure but for dry skin i think this doesn't provide me enough hydration but it is very hydrating once you apply it it's quite hydrating for around one or two hours but after a while you do have to go back in uh, go back in and apply something so that's what i found with this one it's not very really hydrating for me for long hours but i used to love it to wear underneath makeup i think this works great underneath the makeup it provides some hydration and it doesn't slip and slide so the makeup goes on really well so that's how i was using it most of the time so for that purpose i did really like it and if i have to purchase again i will purchase a smaller size or a sample size i wouldn't be purchasing the full size because i don't think i need um i don't think that product works out that well for me the next product which i used up is this one from philosophy this is the hope uh, renewed hope in a jar this is their night cream this is how it looks now this product has aha in it and it has exfoliating properties and a lot of good things i think this one worked pretty well on me and sometimes i do miss this night cream initially when i started using it i did not see a lot of difference but i saw a difference when i stopped using it i saw my skin felt a little bit different it looked a little bit different that's when i came to know that it was really working so you might see the difference after a while after you start using it after your skin adjusts to the uh, lotion or the cream but it does really work it makes your skin look much more smoother and healthier so i think it does work and it worked out great for me i have a full review of this on my blog so i'll link the blog link down below so i don't want to talk too much about it uh next we have the pixie glow tonic a small one which i have finished i think this one also is in my empties most of the time this time i just used a smaller one i am not using the current pixie glow tonic which i have i have a big bottle of pixie glow tonic currently i'm not using that i don't know why i'm not using a toner currently actually so i think i will start using my pixie glow tonic or some other toner which i have uh, but yeah the pixie glow tonic is one of the my favorite toners this has made me believe in toners it works great it just it just exfoliates the skin very very nicely you can visibly see the changes especially if you have a lot of problem problematic skin if you have acne if you have oily skin you should definitely definitely try this i could see change in my skin and i have pretty normal skin i don't have a lot of problems uh, so uh, but i could still see a change in my skin texture and how my skin looks so i'm definitely i think it will work on a problematic skin very very well 
okay next let's move on to some makeup i have few makeup items to share and there is some lawn mowing going on so please don't mind that noise i hope and you're able to hear me clearly so i have few mascaras i have few oh my god i have a lot of mascaras to share okay so these are all the mascaras i shared in my favorite high-end mascara video so i won't talk too much about that i will link that video in the description box i have spoken about these mascaras a lot in that video so if you are looking for great high-end mascaras which really really work then these are great first one is the mark jacobs velvet noir mascara one of my favorite mascaras very lightweight it doesn't feel like you're wearing mascara but it gives a lot of volume and length and curl to the lashes really really good next we have the benefit oh yeah i would definitely repurchase this if i get a chance then we have the benefit bad gal band this is also mini the previous one was also mini one of my favorite 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 mascaras i think i will definitely this is the first mascara i'm going to purchase when i run out of some of my other mascaras because i love this mascara it gives such a lift and such a volume and curl to the lashes it's mind-blowing so i think the most curl and most lift i have got is using this mascara and it's amazing next we have the urban decay uh, perversion Masc mascara this is also amazing it gives a lot of volume a lot of like definition bolder lashes and it gives a lot of curl it just it just uh like like ooms of the lashes so so well so this is also one mascara i will definitely uh, purchase again i this is my second tube i used to use a smaller tube earlier so this is also a great mascara Too Faced better than sex this is a mascara which i have started liking after a while i did not like the first tube which i used i like this one this also is actually a really really good one if this is a consistent formula i don't know how my second uh, the, the third tube is going to be uh, but this also gives a lot of curl lot of volume lot of definition so i love this one as well and this is the balm mad lash which is one of my favorite favorite mascaras this also gives a lot of volume curl and lift and it has this pointy edge at the end with which you can like coat your outer lashes coat your uh, like lower lashes really really good mascara i think the wand is also really really cool it gives a lot of curl and definition so these are like five of my favorite favorite high-end mascaras okay we have four more products to go we have two brow products one is the la girl Celine shay brow pencil and this is the shade black and i have one more from nabla which is called the brow divine which is the, in the shade uranus i think both the products are very good i think the la girl brow slim shady brow pencil this is my second or third pencil this is i would say it's not exactly my favorite it's a little bit too creamy for my liking but i still like the color and i like that it's very very easy to like maneuver it's easy to apply it's a little bit creamier so it spreads out really, really evenly and it's very very affordable i think it's 12 dollars something and it's easily accessible to me so i don't mind using it the other one is the nabla brow divan which is like one of my favorite uh, brow pencils recently this was a discovery last year and i have totally loved it it's very very close to the anastasia brow is very very similar formula and the color which uh, the color uranus it's a good match for my brow hair and it's just a very very good uh, formula it's not too creamy not too stiff not too waxy it's just it's just perfect the way i like it so this one also definitely i will repurchase uh, if i place an order from beauty bay i will definitely include this currently i'm not really looking into brow products i have a few to finish i'm on a low buy currently as you guys know so i will be finishing what i have then probably if i repurchase then i'll probably repurchase the nabla one okay then we have the eyebrow uh, primer uh, sorry not eyebrow primer eyeshadow primer it's from freedom and it's the pro eye primer and i've really really enjoyed using this i think it's a very good primer it it helps to make your eyeshadows pop on the eyes and it doesn't uh, let the eyeshadows crease and i think it makes the eyeshadow application very very easy i was gifted this to me by my friend anjana from bronzing geek so thank you anjana i think i really enjoyed it and I'm, i have used it to the last bit and i don't know if you can get it currently because this is from the brand freedom and i think you can't get a lot of freedom products now but this is affordable if you can get it i will totally recommend it's a really good drugstore eyeshadow primer i'm back after a little break there was this loud truck i don't know how why these trucks have to be so loud it was so so loud so i just stopped filming for a while and i'm just down to the last product 
So the last product is this one from Wet n Wild and it's the Photo Focus powder, compact powder in the shade Tan Beige and I have used up the entire thing. There is a lot of powder here but I can't get to it and I don't have patience to dig through and repress and do all those things. I don't have that patience in my life. So this is done. I'm out of, out of it. Uh, I use the shade Golden Tan now so I do have another Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus powder. Uh, but I think this shade also matched pre pretty well but I do prefer the golden tan for some reason uh, I think it matches my undertone a little bit better so I won't be purchasing the tan beige shade anymore I will be going for the golden tan shade but I love this uh, powder you guys know that it's one of my favorite drugstore powders very lightweight it has a glowy sort of a finish it gives a very nice natural look I have dry skin I prefer these kind of powders which give a nice natural glowy skin and it doesn't it's not really too much glow it just gives something to the skin it looks naturally radiant so i love that about this and yes i will totally repurchase these powders once i'm out of them and with that i have come to the end of today's empties video i really hope that this video was helpful i know a lot of you guys do really like empties videos i also personally love watching empties videos so do let me know how you like this video and yeah if you are watching me for the first time i really hope you will consider subscribing to my channel thank you so much for watching i will see you again really soon in my next video bye